what is up guys so i got all that pinstriping stuff and you guys are probably wondering when i'm gonna actually use them for you guys so i uh made this quick little easel quick and dirty easel to hold that up and i switched it to to the green because it just seemed like there was so much glare now i hope you guys if i set you up so what I'm using today is the Mac Series 10 Double Zero Blue Wrap. Um, we're just gonna do try to do a quick two color design. I'm gonna use that one shot red, and we're gonna use one shot yellow using my Von Dago stir stick here and I'm just using low odor mineral spirits which it still stinks but that's what we got to play with for right now wow it doesn't feel chunky either you know I figured with it sitting over time that this would feel chunky but look at that you see that that's 10 year old paint. I cannot believe that. Clean my stir stick off so I can use it again. It's kind of hard with the setup I got. I thought it'd be a little easier than this, but it's not. It's not real easy, and I'm, I can't get paint on this GoPro. So, I got my brush here. Just gonna palette it. I kind of twist it a little bit. You know, get it worked in them hairs. You know what I've noticed about one shot is it's a lot thinner. It seems thinner. Not so thick as enamel or alpha enamel. If you guys can see okay, it's the best I can do for right now. I kind of went this way with it. That's all right. We're just going to run with it. I could wipe it off, but you know what? That's part of, part of the whole thing. We're just going to run with it and leave it the way it is. And maybe we can bury it with, you know, a different color. That's all part of it. Happy little mistakes. Right? Just going to fix my corners here. All right. You guys can see this okay. It's kind of a funky design. I'm just going. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just letting. I'm just sending. Let's touch these up.
got to work on my corners and my line consistency. Um, and also, you know, it's not... I see I missed my mark here, but it's okay. It's all part of practice. It's actually looking pretty good considering. Do that with yellow. Let's, um, you know what? Let's kind of fix these corners up a little. I'm trying to think what else I can add here. I don't know. It's all right. It's looking okay. Looking better than I thought I was going to. Let's uh, let's add a new color. Let's, uh, let's stir it and see what it does. Ooh, this stuff's a little chunky. That's okay. We're still gonna send it. Well, that's much better. I just need a good stirring. Right here. Wipe my stick off. Clean your stick. All right, let's move you guys back over to the drawing board. All right. Yeah, I kind of like that. Let's roll with that. I'm not going off any design or nothing. I mean, I've seen some of this stuff done before. You know, and obviously one side's way different than the other. It's another thing I need to practice. You know, it's so funny. I have a hard time doing the same design from one side to the other. Even if I start left side first. Because, you know, you did it on this side, so it feels unnatural to do it on this side. But if you do it on this side and then you go back to the other side, it almost feels unnatural and, you know. But boy, she's starting to look kind of fancy. Just gonna admit it, one shot paint 
after using the alpha enamel. And I don't know if it's just because I shook it better. Could be. Seems like the one shot is a lot more thinner viscosity. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that again. Really liking how this is kind of turning out. See, don't don't uh, discourage yourself. If you guys are doing this and say you mess up, like I'm not the same on this side or this side, but it still looks very good. You know, you just gotta run with it. Like I'm not real impressed with how the center part's looking, just because it's kind of crisscross, messed up sauce. But so. It's kind of not bad, not bad. How's that looking, guys? Leave a comment. I'm, I know it's kind of far away, but it's just what we're doing for now. I think I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get something that's sitting almost in front of me, in the way, of course. You know, and I haven't picked up a brush for, shoot, I don't even know, 10 years at least. But I was kind of getting discouraged, you know? Oops. So, okay, see that? I got this little tool the other day. I know I haven't mentioned it yet, but this is a little eraser tool. I got at Hobby Lobby, different Hobby Lobby run. Um, so it's just an eraser. We're just gonna push it up into there. See that? Clean it off. Push. All right. Boom. That's looking very good, in my opinion. I think it needs something up here, though. It's lacking. Maybe I just need to make that thicker. Let's do that. Ooh, I could. I could do this, too. That breaks it up a little bit better. I am going to go over this one more time just to brighten that up a little. There. What do you guys think of that? You know, it ain't perfect, but it looks pretty good. You know, for not, I'm just going with what's in my head. And there's really not much going on in there besides really loud circus music and K-1. 
calculus, so. But however, we come up with that, so. It's all right. Let me know what you guys think of this design. I'm glad you guys came with me. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Please give me a like, subscribe. We're definitely gonna be doing more of this type of stuff if this is what you guys want to see in the channel. If not, I can do this without filming it too. So, but hopefully we get to do a lot more stuff like this on semis. But for right now, I, I got a lot of practice to do first. But uh, but it's coming along. I, I kind of like them colors together: green, red, and yellow. But you know, there's a lot I can I can work on. You know, like my line consistency. No, I'm not perfect either, so. And I could fix that. But you know what? This is this is all custom. It's another thing that's cool about pinstriping is it it's not gonna be perfect and it's not supposed to be perfect. Like like if you look at this line here and this line is a lot thinner, which I could fix that. I could come back and fix that. But you know, that's real, you know? But I just like the idea of how pinstriping is pretty free range, you know. Again, give me a like, subscribe, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.